Hi everyone, Sirikon here, and today I'm gonna be uh, <clears throat> sorry. I'm gonna be reacting to another uh, Pro Talks uh, video called Runescape's First Infinity Difficulty. Uh, di sorry, Difficulty Boss. Wait, what does that mean? Um, I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure it's Beyond Enrage or something. And yes, this is uh, the second time I'm reacting to a Pro Talks video today. And if you want to see more Pro Talks, uh, be sure to check out his uh, uh, channel, and be sure to like and subscribe to him if you like. And uh, also, if you want to see this video, I'll put in a link below. Alright, now, let's do this. We just received new information on the Zamrak boss, including it being the first Hi, ever Samurai. unlimited difficulty boss in RuneScape. And in this video, we're going Whoa, to... Whoa, that's not so good. Ready, grab your cup Uh oh, demon! Sit back, relax. If you enjoy all kinds of RuneScape content and want to stay updated with the recent news, be sure to subscribe. In the recent I'm sorry. Legacy of Zamrak, I'm just Trilogy listening to the music and curious. New information on the Zamrak boss releasing on the 4th of July. The update will consist of both an elite dungeon before Zamrak and yeah. the Zamrak boss fight itself. Both Zamrak and the elite dungeon are scalable from 1 up to a maximum of 5 players, making this both the hardest solo and group boss in RuneScape ever. Now yeah. this will be the absolute hardest boss in the game as it's enraged skills to infinity and there's even going to be a high score system oh boy. for solo 2, 3, 4 and 5 players Among these stronger to armor, maybe tank armor. The limit. As if the unlimited enrage wasn't enough, that's a really cool system that's to have cool that sword. is unique to this boss. Now enrage actually affects the dungeon before Zamrak as well as enemies alike will scale with that enrage. For players that aren't that good at PVM there will also be a story mode if you can't take on low enrage difficulty. Another unique system to this boss and this elite dungeon is that you can bypass the dungeon permanently after proving yourself enough times which they didn't quantify how many times it is. Yeah, it's likely okay. going to be a certain amount of dungeon clears which will allow you to farm Zamrak as much as you want. Now in the trailer they do talk about new rewards and we can see this new bow which could be the confirmed tier 95 bow we know of, Ooh. although it could also be a weaker version that is upgradable. That's now it cool. might just be me but based on the size of model it kind of reminds me of a shield bow. Apart from yeah. the bow there's also a brief shot of what seems to be the tier 3 cultist armor which we saw in the last developer diary I covered in the last video. For now most of the other information stays a mystery but this week's livestream should provide us with more detailed information. In the video they also mention a new quest known as the Daughter of Chaos yeah, and in I this quest will mostly yeah. be in the Bullness trying to stop the Moya NPC and it will be the first quest part of a brand new time period Whoa. in Illinois, more so focused on mortals than gods. The video right. also provided us with some new wilderness rework. Are we going to be finding Moya or what's na oh, well. her name? I'm sorry. The Commander of Slay Master will be receiving a rework, there will be new Slay creatures and a brand new wilderness Slay drop table. Since PvP will become optional, there will be new PVM challenges and all NPCs will be in multi-way combat yeah, and I'm right those never weapons. lose their direction. I used to have you. those. In my eyes, that's a good thing because that does mean you'll be able to save on aggression potion costs when in the wilderness. Well, Near the end of the video they mention an item known as it. the Infernal Puzzle Box which is something you're probably going to obtain after the first questline as they mention you obtaining it throughout the storyline okay. and it's an item that will become more powerful with each legacy of Zamrak update you complete and the final tier is going to be something we really want according to the video. All so right. something like the Pontifex Shadow Ring except it's for the legacy of Zamrak updates. With these new bits of information I'm definitely becoming more more curious about both the Wilderness rework and the Zamrak boss. I can't yeah. wait to see what other rewards this boss yeah, will have to the here. game, especially considering it's going to be the new hardest boss. My inner hype is starting to rumble and thankfully won't be I should be scared. To rise to the live game. Something that's going to come a little bit yeah, sooner though is the beach event which will be returning on June the 27th. Yep. And as you might already know the beach event comes with new cosmetics and items you can Ooh. obtain every single year and this year is no different. The beach event will last a little over a month until July the 31st giving you plenty of time to collect all the rewards okay. and have some rewards from previous years as well. With that being said though we've come to the Man, end of this looks awesome. video. If you enjoyed the video leave a Even like down below bad guy. and maybe even consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Got it. Alright, peace man. Okay, that's my reaction and I'm gonna give him a like. Okay. Now, uh, that's my reaction to his video. And, uh, and if you like, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. 
And be sure to leave a comment to, to tell me what is what's your thoughts to the actual video yourself. And before we go, uh, hang on, let me just find it. And... Okay, right here. Now, judging by the bow in the background, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be graphics related, and uh, also a recipe graphics. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, that bow looks pretty sweet looking. And Sam Rager, <laughs> as if Silk from normal mode isn't hard enough for me. Yeah, I'm gonna need a stronger uh, 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 tank armor, quick bloom, and I'm gonna need a stronger staff, which is the staff of Armadale. I got the first piece and someday I will get that staff. Yeah, you hear me, Catpack? I will get that staff for you, alright? I mean, from you, alright? It's mine. <laughs> I'm just joking, but seriously, I will get that staff one day. Alright, so uh, see everyone.